Okay, so, uh, we're back. Did it pause recording on me or something? It, like, said it stopped recording. But anyway, this is our, uh, fleet loadout. I can't rotate it. So here's the plan. Awaiting orders. For the Emperor. We're gonna. S this is a basic snag mission. What's blowing up? Ah, oh, shit, I forgot to set all these guys to nine K that nine K that. Grab it. Now you get out of there. <laughs> yes, that's how we get away from the orcs. Oh man, that was actually pretty neat. That was pretty cool. Okay. Actually, Your orders? what happened to me, cargo? <laughs> it's just like, sir, these ships are hauling explosives. Get out of there. Awaiting orders. Cruising speed set. And we did it. What happened to me? What, what happened to me, cargo? <laughs> that was beautiful. Okay. Congratulations, Admiral Spire. You succeeded in bringing back the information we needed. I have turned over the data to the Adeptus Mechanicus. The tech priests are currently deciphering it. They report that the Greenskins are using a space hulk named Colossus as a mobile base in the Gothic sector. My most experienced tech priests at Fort Moore can construct a powerful beacon based on an ancient standard template construct. You could use this beacon to lead your fleet directly to the Orc space hulk. Okay. You need to enter Orc territory and place the beacon aboard the warboss's ship. The beacon will be on your flagship, and you'll have to land a boarding party on the target vessel to activate it. Once the beacon has been placed on board the warboss's ship, you'll need to inflict enough damage to make the greenskin disengage. 
take good care of the beacon, Admiral. The Adeptus Mechanicus consider it holy, and we won't receive another one easily. Consider it holy, yeah. Um, how are things looking at Port Ma? Ship-wise? No, nope, no, no. So uh, let's see. Where is it? Eldar stuff is popping up everywhere. Where was it? There we go. You need to enter. What are we doing? Yep. Let's see here. We need slow ships. They're not slow ships, small ships. Da da dun da 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 da. Let's see here. Oh, whoa. Solar winds? You guys, 9k forward facing. You have the beacon, so that means 3k. Attention, fleet. We've entered Orc territory. Remember, we have to defend the beacon until we can place it on board the Orc war boss's ship. Humans aren't allowed here. Now I get to crush all the yards. The Imperium of Man will no longer tolerate your presence here, Xenos. We will purge Alas Novi of all your alien kind. <laughs> I'll make a big hole in your ship to start me out purge. That sounds about right. Wait a minute, hold on. Yes, Group two. Group one. Changing course. Group one, and then you're going straight for him. Group two, you're going. Underway. Might as well go here, and then. Actually, Anchor thinking about it. Might as well just go here. Awaiting orders. No! No. Changing course. At your command. Targeting enemy vessel. Avoid the frickin' ship ready. Who put those there in the first friggin' place? Oh, for crying out. Friggin' that. Uh, Enemy ship sighted! Enemy ship sighted! Okay, come on. Your orders. Enemy ship sighted. Oh, we're destroying them. If that matters. Everyone hit them. Yes, Admiral. Underway. 
Do not destroy the admiral ship. Cease fire! Cease fire! The enemy flagship has walked out of the area, and the beacon is fully operational. The mission is a success. Time for us to report to Port Moore. Victory! Oh man, I'm afraid that I almost told them not to, er, to, er, to cease fire too late. Okay, so uh, what's the next step? The beacon is fully operational, and we've tracked its signal to a remote asteroid field deep in the Alas Novi region. I am preparing an assault fleet to attack the Orc Space Hulk at once. Admiral Spire, I want you to lead the attack. Captain Abradol will support you during the mission. Hold on, is this going to be like a one whole turn mission thing? The assault force is ready to launch the attack on the Space Hulk. Captain Abradol's support fleet is in place to support you. Keep in mind that the Orcs will defend their base with everything they've got. I recommend that you select large ships armed with torpedoes and long... Got it. Is the Space Hulk standing still? Wait, do I have support? Captain Abrador, we've reached the asteroid field. Our target, the Space Hulk, lies ahead. Sir, the Orca arrays are reporting multiple signals in the asteroid field. It's difficult to make out which ones are enemy ships and which are just rocks moving around. Captain Abrador, that should take us right into the Orca base. Admiral Spire, I've identified the Space Hulk. It's moving towards us. By the throne, it's enormous. Jesus. Is this the equivalent of a boss or something? For fuck's sake, how am I supposed to fight this? Stand back. Jesus freaking Christ. Enemy ship sighted. Oh hell. Burn retros. Here's the best plan that we've got. Awaiting orders. What the hell is with its health? That's Eldar. That's... I see some Imperium on this. I definitely see Chaos on this. That's... Or... <laughs> they mixed everyone in this! Hit them with as much as, or with hit them with uh, as many torpedoes as possible. Is what I'm going to say, and then we're gonna move and run like hell. Awaiting orders. Um, orders? one, two, three. What the hell are you doing? Oh, fucking crying out loud.
Come on, man. My torpedoes aren't even getting through. How much firepower does he have? The fuck? Lots of guns. Grot ships launcher. Pro heavy torpedo launcher. Mega zap cannon. Prow guns. Mega cannon. Wait a minute. Is he going through the uh, whole asteroid field? Oh, his shields suck. Enemy ship sighted. Ship ready. Your orders. Move forward. Ravager and Savage. Oh, what? It shoots torpedoes out the frickin' side? Brace for impact in three, two, one, now! Borden torpedo success all frickin' ready? Don't tell me it. Oh gosh. Oh man, you're fucked. I'm not sure I want to engage very close. Yes, Admiral. Enemy ship sighted. Hit him, hit him, hit him. What the hell? How am I supposed to... Hold on. Long range weapons aren't working. Well, engines to maximum. Your orders. Everyone, ah, uh, there's not much I can do. Fire that. Ship ready. Recharge that. Fire torpedoes. Oh gosh, my computer's lagging somewhat. Fire on board. Get your ass out of there. Oh, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. Um. Teleport. There. For crying out loud, get generators destroyed. For crying out, get away. How am I supposed to fight this thing? Yes, I made tactical mistakes, but cruising speed set. Ah. In a one on one battle, I, my, this ship will not be enough. Targeting enemy vessel. You know what? You know what I messed up on? I should have taken out its supporting fleet first. Execute high energy turn. Engines hot. Warp. You know what might have really freaking worked? That frigate barrage. 
Oh, it's taking so much damage, that poor ship. By the Emperor, this is an auto fight we can win. Nothing can destroy the Colossus. I've been moving up to use my secret weapon on you. Your attack against the Space Hulk failed, and the Orc's base is secure. A group of escorts has scouted the asteroid field again, and the Space Hulk Colossus is no longer there. To make matters worse, attacks against Imperial convoys continue. We will have to use the Adeptus Mechanicus beacon once more if we want to find out where the Space Hulk has gone. Gonna have to do that again. This is just a cruiser clash. Fine then. <sighs> so be it. This is really not my field of what I'm good at. I have to use that beacon again. Redeploy you here. You at 9k range facing forward. That's really your only purpose right now. Then just. We, we can easily win it, or we can easily win these cruiser clashes, but against that Colossus, what the hell am I doing? Ah shit, um Your orders Come on Initiate emergency repairs At your command We need to fight these chaos vessels, otherwise we can't do So against a Space Hulk, why don't we send in as many ships as we freaking can? I mean, Engines hot. along with all the other vessels and stuff that I have, or that I have access to me, why don't I send them all in the, er, into one of these fights? Honest freaking I don't like ending this in failure. At your command. Okay. That's gonna miss. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Your orders. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Yes, Admiral. This happens all too freaking often. One at a time. Come on. Cruising speed set. At your command. Awaiting orders. Damage team, begin repairs now. Acquiring new vector. Course plotted. Come on, you. Underway. 
I am not letting you escape that easily. And subordinate captain, go ahead. Did everyone just insubordinate? Orders. You know, I don't mind captain or enemy captains going insubordinate right now. Not really using my renown for for anything. Yes, Admiral. You guys brawl best at three K range. Your orders. Taking the hits. Awaiting orders. Wait, was that it? Was he the last one left? Sacred Destiny. Okay. You can stay there, you can stay there in you, my friend. Tech priest. Not using my renown for anything. So, uh. Hmm. Abaddon's fleet has attacked the Fularis system, the location of Blackstone Fortress 1. I sent a rescue fleet into the system, and they brought back a personal log of Lieutenant Elijah Borgia of the Vindictive, a Dominator-class cruiser. We discovered the wreckage of the Vindictive drifting towards the central star of Fularis. Admiral Spire, listen carefully to the log we recovered. I believe you will find it very illuminating. We are in luck today. Abaddon's fleet has attacked from the other side of Polaris 2, which means they'll have to risk the orbital and planetary defense systems to get to Blackstone 1. We have only just upgraded our weapons on Polaris 2 for just such an occurrence, and I doubt that even with his two fortresses, our enemy will survive. Lord Admiral, the system seems like they're prepared for a serious fight. Surely they must have dealt significant damage to the Chaos Fleet. Listen to the rest of the log, Spire. The two Blackstones have taken up station 5,000 leagues from each other, some 75,000 leagues from Phalaris 2, and just out of range of the weapons platforms, except for the torpedo launchers. We're picking up an energy surge in the two fortresses. They're powering up for something. Tech Priest Flavix says there's some kind of energy exchange between them. Empress Teeth, I can see it myself now. A column of shifting energy linking the two fortresses together. The surge is still rising. The power beam becoming more visible. The damned astropath is screaming now, yelling something about a breach into warp space. What hellspawn trick are they up to? Oh my. The personal log ends here. The other evidence we recovered from the region points toward a beam of warp energy unleashed upon Fularis II. The Vindictive was fully caught in the blast. Its void shields overloaded instantly, and its outer hull vaporized as the energy wave passed over the ship. 
Blackstone Fortress One has not been found. We must assume that Abaddon now has three Blackstone Fortresses under his command. Shit. So I got to take care of you this. To enter Orc territory and so I'm going to end it here. I'm going to get back to the spot with the Space Hulk and uh, next episode we'll open up with that. Thank you so and if you liked it please hit the like and the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. If you made it to the end of the video, check out my channel if you